the Ebony State Governor, David Umahi, who is also the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, has said that the region has benefited more from President Muhammad Buhari-led government than from the People's Democratic Party's rule of 16 years in the country. Umahi claimed that the Igbos had a fair play in terms of economic and infrastructural development under Buhari, which was missing under the PDP. According to Vanguard, David Umahi stated this in Lagos while speaking through his Commissioner for Information and State Orientation, Uchenna Oji. The governor argued that the 10 billion naira airport re rehabilitation, the second Niger Bridge, the Enugu Port Expressway, and other infrastructures are pointers to the benefits the Southeast states got from the Buhari administration. These are indications that this administration is helping the Southeast a lot. More than ever, we believe in constituted authorities, we believe in establishments. That is why we still have the Federal Republic of Nigeria under the able leadership of President Muhammad Buhari. We also believe in the leadership of governors and so our various shades of opinion will not be a barrier to governance. The Southeast has, a, has abiding faith in Nigeria as a nation. The labors of our heroes past shall never be in vain. One of our most respected founding fathers, Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe, was in the front line of championing the cause of One Nigeria. The cause of an independent Nigeria and we cannot for any reason renege from that vision. People express opinions based on a lot of factors. There have been issues of marginalization and underdevelopment. You will recall that the 16-year rule of PDP did not give the Southeast any progress. So, these accumulated issues made people to share different opinions, but the majority opinion goes. Our leaders believe in one Nigeria where there is peace, and I think it is high time Nigerian government considers the issue of conceding presidency to the Southeast, no matter the political party. It is important to give everybody a sense of belonging, no matter the party. We should fight for the corporate existence of Nigeria. Asked if Umahi is interested in running for presidency, the commissioner said the governor had not said so. I know the governor does anything when he is inspired. For now, he is content and really saddled with how to deliver the dividends of democracy in a boy state. So far, so good. We have seen in him a man of extraordinary ability, a performer, a peace setter, and God's instrument and a vessel of honor in a boy state. There is a great difference. Before he came on board, we had no confidence as a people, but all that has changed. I want to say that despite our emotions, despite our sentiments, despite our, some encounters we must have had in the hands of criminals or bandits, whether they are of headsmen or of kidnappers, that should not denigrate that should not derogate from the fact that we can get criminals anywhere in any part of Nigeria. But essentially, government of every state under this federal system that we operate, including the federal government, has a primary responsibility under the Constitution to secure and protect the lives and property of the citizens. That is not negotiable. 
if any government does not compromise that, that government will fail in its responsibility. Having said that, I want to say that the Southeast governors are doing very well. In Ebony State, we have a strategic blueprint on how to tackle insecurity comprehensively. On the issue of criminals, we have fortified security and we have, to, we have put in place necessary facilities to checkmate criminals, including making Ebony a smart city, a smart city state, whereby CCTV camera were installed in different junctions in the state to monitor the activities of these criminals. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning what uh, Ebony State Governor has said? That the APC Buhari government has done more for the Southeast than PDP's 16-year rule in office. Well, if that is what uh, Governor Omar, he feels, then, you know, he has he's entitled to his opinion basically as it were so personally other everybody is entitled to their opinion basically what matters more is not about pdp or apc what people want is good governance you know fairness equity justice equality and that is what nigerians want the majority of nigerians want nobody wants to care if it's the pdp or the APC that did it. Because all that are irrelevant, are inconsequential. What matters is that let these things be done and let them be functioning. Every person, government, as it were, political party that has the privilege to go into office as a matter of importance, urgency, as a matter of priority, needs to fix infrastructure. Buhari can come and talk about the second Niger bridge. He can talk about the Enugu airport. We don't care. The PDP has a hand in all these projects, as it were. So it is not about all that. Is that all? Even at that, is that all that the APC government has done? So, but basically for me, it is not about the APC or the PDP. It is about justice, fairness, equity. The marginalization of the people of the Southeast and the South South and even the Southwest has to stop. And that is, it is until when we get to that point, that is when we can now come and talk and look at who the individual that is responsible for this uh, particular transformation is. But before, until then, or before we get there, it doesn't matter which political party is in office. It's time to be corrected. But drop by in the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.